Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at this very nice brand new standard 250 watt metal halide conversion slash retrofit lamp part 2. Now I know I made a video of this same lamp, but in part 1 of a, in a separate video, I actually used the M58 ballast to run this bulb with. And that's the ballast that I ran it on, as you can see right there. But however, this bulb also can operate on the high pressure sodium S50 ballast, which is the 250 watt high pressure sodium S50. And this is the fixture that I'm going to be using to run it with. So anyways, this particular bulb here was bought off eBay for $15, which was really nice and cheap if I'm allowed to say that. But anyways, let's look at the etch real quick. I'm not going to tell everything about the etch since I did it in a separate video. So you might as well pause the video real quick so you can look at it. If you want to read it, pause now. All right, let's move on. Look at the construction real quick of this lamp. You have our base, our stem, and all of our wires that support the bulb itself, and of course the arc tube here. And as you can see, the arc tube here on this one is a little smaller than a standard 250 watt, or regular 250 watt, I should say, metal halide lamp. I'm gonna give you a quick comparison. So here's the standard one on the right, and the one on the left is my Phillips. You can see that the arc tube on this one is smaller, and this one's a little longer. So, pretty interesting. So, you can see of my oh, whole pile of lamps right here, they're all high pressure sodium right here. Both are two, two of them are 250 and the other ones are 150 watt. So anyways, um, now, um, now that we're done with the construction and the etch, I might as well give you some specifications about this lamp and then I'll turn it on with this parking lot fixture, 250 watt high pressure sodium. So this particular bulb here produces 21,000 lumens, very nice and bright. It's not a dimmable lamp. And this has a color temperature of 4,000 Kelvin or cool white, and it's not dimmable, like I just said. This has an average life of 10,000 hours and a color rendering index of 65, which is actually better than high pressure sodium because high pressure sodium CRIs are like 21, which are ridiculously bad. So anyways, um, I think I'm going to put the rest of the stuff in the description below about this lamp. And, um, the burning position is universal according to the etch on the lamp and, of course, the arc tube. So, this bulb is going to be warming up very fast because it's running on high pressure sodium and high pressure sodium ballasts only put out 55 volts once the arc is sustained and metal halide ballast puts out 100 volts instead, so... However, metal halide ballasts make the uh, fixture, or the bulb I should say, make, uh, warm up slowly. So as for high pressure sodium ballast, it warms up faster. So anyways, enough of me talking, let's put this bulb in, in its fixture, and let it warm up. So, this is a really nice lamp and I love it. And warning to headphone users, this fixture that, that I'm going to be turning on has a ridiculously loud ballast. So I am not responsible for anyone going deaf in this video just because of a loud ballast that this fixture puts out. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the door here if I can. Sorry about that. Let me get these. Let me get the door shut here. I don't know if I can actually do it with one hand. There we go. Sorry about that long delay there. Anyways, I'm gonna set the camera right where the arc tube is so you can get a good view of the arc tube turning on. Like I said, I'm not responsible for anyone going deaf in this video because of a loud ballast that this fixture puts out. So anyways, um, I'm actually gonna use a flashlight to support the, the camera with. So, give me just a second while I support this, so. I'm sorry for the air conditioning in the background, I unfortunately can't control that. I apologize for the long delay here, guys, so. Anyways, enough of me talking, let's go ahead and turn on this metal halide conversion lamp on a high-pressure sodium ballast. So. 
Here we go. <laughs> After 200 meters, turn right, Loving View Boulevard. So the bulb is now at full brightness, and as you can see, this bulb here, oops, sorry about that. This bulb here lights, and this bulb here warmed up very fast. It took only like a minute to warm up. So it's all thanks to the ballast putting out only 55 volts instead of 100. So as you can see, the bulb lights up this room quite nicely in very nice, cool white. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice standard retrofit metal halide conversion lamp running on a high pressure sodium ballast. So anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching.